Hey, welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna do a how-to. We're gonna assemble this new Canon manual downrigger. It's the Unitrol 10 STXTS. STXTS. Mouthful, but it's really just a tournament series manual crank downrigger. So it's got the stainless steel spool and that and it's white. We're gonna go over how to put one of these together. If you've never seen it done before, or you know, you never know, I'm putting it together. We might as well film it. Somebody out there in YouTube world is probably gonna wanna know how to put it together. At least at the very end where you put the, uh, the wire through the, the terminal tackle and crimp it down. That's the trickiest part about the whole thing. So stay tuned and uh, I'll show you how to do it. I don't know if it's the exact steps that the directions tell you to do it, but we're gonna put that end in there. There's a, a hole right there. You line that up and you put in this screw. looking for a bolt that is different than all the others to put this boom in the body of the down rear and you can see here all the heads on the bolts are those are the short and long one you can see the head what it looks like that's the one that's different That's the one that's gonna go through here. This slides in. Slides in here, we'll line the hole up a little bit. Slide that in. Line your holes up. Put that bolt in. You'll see on this one side, there's this nut cut out. Right there. That's to hold the nut. Doesn't matter which one. All the nuts are the same. So now we can collapse this back, make it a little easier on us. We'll go ahead and put our rod holder on here. Stabilize that. So this, this one, We'll go on here like that. It'll go kind of further back. And then this one goes on it like that. So you can adjust this way or this way. You're gonna take one of these springs and the adjustment knob. Put that through right there. Tighten that up. Take the other spring and the other adjustment knob. And you'll pretty much be using the rod holder, something like that. All right. These, these are for install. Only thing we're gonna need for the assembly, yeah. Threading this handle on. Until it's 
tight. I'm I'm holding this spool. There we go. Okay. Now for a little bit more tricky part. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna push this spool forward until this the end of the cable, this rubber band right here, is sticking down below here. Like that. And I always just grab that with a pair of pliers and pull. Back this off a little bit. There we go. So you can pull it and the rubber band's gonna break. Like that. Keep pulling. You want a little tension on that spool and pull enough out to work with. And you're just going to loop it over the pulley here on the end. Like that. Pull that through. So it's over the pulley. Okay. Here's the part everybody was probably waiting for. You don't want to fray this end as much as possible. You want to try to keep this end from fraying on the cable. Do not forget the snubber piece. So slide that on first. So here's the terminal end of it. So you got one, two, three. So you're gonna come from the back here, and you're gonna come down here, around here, up, back in, and down with this on here. So don't forget it, slide this on. You can do it now or after this next step, but we're gonna pull, we're gonna put it in this side. Can you see those holes there? Put it in that side. We're gonna feed it through like that. And then we're gonna come out and we're gonna go back in through this swivel. Right here, like that. We gotta go in this side. So that end frayed. The, uh, the hole here wasn't poked out all the way, so I went ahead and kind of opened that out a little bit better. And hopefully this time we can get it in there without fraying. I had to cut an end with some dikes, cut a new end on it, cut that fray off. So little trick, I just, Use a little snap-on screwdriver, pocket screwdriver, and just kind of push down on that cable and slit it up to kind of keep it in line with that hole. I say this can be a pain in the butt and why sometimes canning is <laughs> tough to do. Like to have, you, if you ever break one of these off, you should always keep a spare terminal tackle kit for your cannon. I learned that the hard way, salmon trolling keep some of these in your boat, but you have to do this on the water. That's really annoying. Now you're gonna take that and go back down in the middle. So you came out the other side, now you're gonna go right down the middle. Like that, so I'm kinda of holding that. And then push this down, it's hard to see probably. Like that. We're pushing it down, this middle right here. I'm gonna go all the way down. Come on. 
through the freaking hole. There we go. So I go all the way down till that is poking out there. And then you're gonna pull the slack all out from your main line side. Like that. That's centered on the, on the hook there. Pull that out. Get it tight. And then, use some pliers. Some pliers. And you're gonna fold that over. And then pinch down on that with your pliers. Slides over. Now that's assembled. Now all that's left is to install it.